to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. In the heart of old Ahmedabad, close to the Lal Darwaza, you will find a mosque which is one of the most famous landmarks of the city. This is the famous Siddhi Sayyidni Masjid, renowned for its fabulously ornate latticework windows or jollies, especially this one depicting the Tree of Life. Today, nearly 450 years after it was made, this has become an iconic symbol of the city of Ahmedabad itself. In a city where there are much larger and older mosques like the Jama Masjid and this masjid named after the founder of Ahmedabad, Ahmed Shah, who laid the foundation of the city in 1411, the Siddhi Sayyidni Masjid is a small jewel with a story. The Siddhi Sayyid Mosque was built by an African and Abyssinian nobleman Siddhi Sayyid in 1572. That is the year before the Gujarat Sultanate fell to the Mughals. The Siddhis or Africans played an important role in the medieval history of India. While it is believed that they first came in as slaves, they rose as mercenaries and were handsomely rewarded for their services. Soon they began to hold positions of power. The most famous Siddhi in the medieval world was undoubtedly Malik Ambar, who went on to become the regent of the Nizam Shahi Sultanate in Ahmednagar in 1607. But little is known of Siddhi Sayyid, the nobleman who commissioned this mosque. Records show that he was a nobleman during the reign of the last Gujarat Sultan, Muzaffar Shah III. Records show that Siddhi Sayyid was first in the service of the son of the governor of Surat. Later, he threw in his lot with Bilal Jarjar Khan, who was a famous Abyssinian general. Siddhi Sayyid died in 1576. Built of yellow sandstone, the mosque Siddhi Sayyid built represents the very unique architectural style adopted during the reign of the Sultans of Gujarat, both in Champaner, their old capital, and Ahmedabad. The ornate architecture of the period in Gujarat sadly gets overshadowed by the Mughal architecture that dominates the period and came later. The buildings made by the Sultans of Gujarat in the 15th and 16th century are truly spectacular. With an open front and arches that can be seen from the entrance, the Siddhi Sayyidni Masjid is still in service for prayers today. The most iconic part of the mosque, of course, are the semicircular arched windows with intricate latticework or jollies. These were used to let the light and air in. The large windows have different motives, but the most famous is this, the symbol of the Tree of Life, an artistic representation of the tree said to be growing in paradise, according to the Muslim faith. While this mosque did face some damage in the 18th century, it remains one of the last great works of the Gujarat Sultanate period before the regime collapsed and the Mughals took charge. In the 20th century, there was renewed interest in the architecture and design of this mosque, so much so that this symbol came to represent the city of Ahmedabad itself in popular imagination. Did you know that one of the most famous academic institutions of India, the Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad, adopted this as their logo? Beauty is truly timeless. <laughs>